Where to dig, where to, ooh, I think I'm gonna dig right there, right behind that rock. So we're in a creek here near central Virginia, not quite in central Virginia, and I'm goofing around. And I'm going to show you how to maximize your Garrett Super Sluice. If you All right, so, you know what? This log will be a good place to put that coffee. Garrett Super Sluice. Almost everybody's got one of these. Well, everybody likes different pants, but you're going to need that, a smaller pan of your choice, and don't forget your classifier. Now, why the classifier? You the classifier might just help you reduce material that you don't want, especially if you're just wanting to dig a hole and dig through it fast. You can fit a lot more dirt in your pan if you classify it out. Me, I despise classifying. I hate classifying, but when I'm in an area and I'm taking test samples, I classify. Why? Because first of all, I know there's gonna be no nuggets. So there's nothing that's needing to be in there under half an inch, well, over half an inch. Yeah, over half an inch, right? Right, I think I'm right. I'm right, right? All right, so those three, those three tools, your classifier, your Garrett Super Sluice, and that pan right there, are going to help you maximize a lot more material. Let me show you. Mm. Classify. All right, so first step, make this look like this. That's trash. This is your good stuff. Now, you're going to want to carefully pan this out and discard that. So discard it. Because I know for a fact there ain't going to be anything over half an inch in this creek. And if there is, then that's my loss. I have screwed up, haven't I? So, let's pan this out. Woo! Just a-washing that dirt. We're just a-washing that dirt. So here's the crucial part. When you get down to that and you might be able to take a little bit more off but anyways when you get down to that just take it dump it into that pan just like that there we go so that's the technique that we're going to use now this is a technique I've been using for a bit and I haven't known how many other prospectors out there use this but Vogus at, at uh, Vogus Prospecting Chris at Vogus Prospecting I should say went on ahead and did a video and he knew of another miner that used the same techniques, which made my day seeing this because it's like, ha -ha! I'm doing something right. Y'all know we like doing stuff right, right? All right, so this is my sample hole and this is what we're going to do. I'm gonna dig behind here and back using the techniques that I showed you. And we'll see what we got at the end. Hopefully we might have something. Hopefully, hopefully we got gold. <laughs> if not, that's okay because we might find some artifacts in here. There was once a, a battle between Native Americans and colonists in this very creek. I know, because I have found some stuff, and that's what I'm actually here for, is to find some stuff. And I have permission. Always make sure you have homeowner's permission. Okay, there may be some stuff in here. I did a quick pan back, and uh, well, that flake came up. So, I guess we dig some more. Clay, buddy. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that stuff. Yum. I hope. See that? Right there at the corner. That just popped out of the sands. So I think we own some good stuff now. It might be a piece of mustard, but there it is. It's not a little speck. All right. We'd be pretty deep. That hole right down there is bedrock. And we're about a good foot and a half or so and we're in that kitty litter that kitty litter layer tongue twist and that kitty litter layer aha said it right that time is uh chunks of blue quartz with possibly a whole bunch of power right running through it so we down to some good stuff it looks like at some point you're going to end up with a pan that looks like that. Shake it. And you can pan this bit down. 
So you can pan it down just a little bit, but remember, this is all your hard work for today. So be careful with how you pan it. And you keep drooling over gold mining equipment, you can get yourself a gear pan. One of those, <laughs> and just set that thing up and have it going and just shovel, 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 shovel all day long and not have to worry, except for when you run out of gas. I need a gear pan. If somebody wants to get me a gear pan, hey. Drooling and drooling and drooling over a gear pan, don't we, Nathan? Yes, yes, we do. We keep drooling over a gear pan. We would like a gear pan. We would like to get a gear pan somehow, some way, so we'll take it. There might be a Bigfoot in here. Oh, it's me. Never mind. <coughs> um, now that we're back to normal, so I panned this out and uh, I've reduced a bunch of stuff out of it. Got rid of most of our lights, some of our bigger rock in there. But uh, you still want to keep it fairly ugly looking, if you know what I mean. You don't want to get down to your fines unless you're using a capture pan, especially in this creek from what I'm seeing so far. Because you could just pan all of your gold right out the pan and get home with your just black sands and wonder where all your gold that you know you got went. And that ain't any good. Nope, nope. Just keep as much of your black sands in your pan and take your time with it at your house. Okay. Just in case there's any nuggets, we're going to go around this, because right here is where the water is flowing, right through here. So in case there's any big nuggets, we're going to come through here, dig under the rock. We might just end up moving this rock all together today and dig through here. And I might also want to go up through there, but you can see that this is a fairly straight, this is a fairly straight shot. And any big nuggets we would expect to find should be like right up there. I've walked the whole way up, I happen to know that a lot of this is possibly just wash off. And so uh, from the highway behind me, because it crosses the highway. So the bigger stuff might be on somebody else's property because there's a bridge up there that's blocking everything. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Well, I'll have a monkey for an uncle. But look at that. Okay, so we're getting into better stuff. We're finally hitting what I think is bedrock truth be told it's probably um, decomposed bedrock which is where the stuff is setting which is good which is now what I want which is where I want to be so it, it might be worth bringing in a machine but first I gotta make it yeah I gotta make it we're bringing Big Bertha Big Bertha she would do it I'm my bazooka, my bazooka. So right there is our hole that we have been digging underneath that rock, and we moved that rock. And you see that we're now, well, the shovel is standing up, and I'm finally heading what I think is decomposed bedrock. And beyond that, all I'm doing is scraping all bedrock. There is our tailings. There is everything that we have collected today. <laughs> it's all in there every speck of gold we have discovered so it's gonna take some careful panning but i think we got it all right here is the hole this is our sample hole and it's pretty good and you can see we're almost up to the top of the shovel and every pan we were getting from here in was getting some decent stuff seriously that was a lot of panning and it was all for this right here. Now we know there's gold in here because we have panned every pan down to the gold. So there's gold in that. And it's worth keeping uh, and panning it out at home very carefully. This way we see what a true representation of the gold we get. But this is how you maximize your gold pans. And you can do it with any gold pan out there. It doesn't have just to be the Garrett Super Sluice. The Garrett Super Sluice is great for moving loads of material. When you want to get into an area and sample and sample and sample and move a lot of dirt. That's what the Super Sluice is good for. Moving a lot of dirt. Which we just did. And you know, you saw the hole that we have dug and it's all concentrated in our Super Sluice right now. We used another pan, put all of our t we put all of our finds in that, and then now that I'm carrying it out of the woods, it's getting carried out of my super sluice because that bad boy ain't gonna lose any. So that's our video. 
I think. Here's our little assemblage. We got our pan, dirt, backpack, shovel. That's what we hiked in here with. That's what we're hiking out with, plus a little bit of dirt. And you know, that's pretty good dirt. I gotta say, we gotta come back and hit this spot. Started making honey way up in the trees. Cut down the tree and the honey's all gone. Looks like old Slewfoot is the name of the song. Uh, you made yourself a honey. I'll be back. <laughs> this is really awesome.